So what a magnificent fish. I think this could be one of the next big hits in aquascaping. Just discovered a new seating position. Got my special stall here, it's really dinky. It's really a little stall. Hello, Betsy. Hello. And put it here, and then I can view my Oise Highline 300 room divider end on like this. And then I can get my head really close on this is what I see. I think it's great. And then you sometimes get the uh, light shining through, creating um, yeah, some shadowing now. When you get the un, it's un, it's uninterrupted light, without any shade, you get the really great shadowing. Um, I really love it. I really love viewing it from this angle. Uh, but this vlog is all about the fish in here. I can't wait to show you. Stay tuned. Ever wondered, Ty, one of life's mysteries, no matter how you tidy the cables up with your mm. headphones, you put them in your pocket, you bring them out, and they're all uh, one of life's mysteries. Like the plague and bankers, it was put there to test us. I yeah, think I think it's almost as deep a mystery as consciousness itself. <laughs> okay. I just want to talk about fish. I think these would be special because this is not a fish that you see. Not, not a real big fan of algae eaters unless I really need them though. But I think the bentos would be much better. I think they'll be, these are going to be your feature fish. I can't wait mate, thanks for recommending them. We're off to the fish shop, which one are we going to? We're going to Maidenhead Aquatics at Huntingdon. Okay, here we are tight at Maidenhead Aquatics in Huntingdon. Yeah. Uh, my local fish shop and then we've got the aquarium gardens just down the road which we're going to go to later. Sure. Uh, I'm going to point the <laughs> camera down because we've got members of the public. But I do quite like this. Yeah, so uh, Wayne, who works here, he's yeah. not here today, but he created this. Let us know in the comments, what do you think to this scape? I think it's good, I think it looks good. Yeah. Quite a big store, does marine and fresh water. Yep. Um, we've, I've already sort of shortlisted Rummy Nose Tetras, haven't we? Oh. So those were the uh, white fin bentos, you said? No, they're no. rosies. Oh, they're rose. But they're nice. Rosy tetras are nice, similar effects a deep body pink so that's one for the list i think rosy tetras here's the oh they are nice but i think the bentos are much better nothing's jumping out at me yet ty if i'm honest the blueberry tetras oh i feel some broken wide eyes these color up something special do they they're really nice they are and they're different aren't they they are different so yes let's shortlist them and where are the there's the Blue, em uh, blue emperors that we talked about. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then the they've listed them again as well. They've just got more roses. Where are the white fins? I've lost them now. Is there any rummy nose tetras? I saw a couple up that end. So the other option, completely going off at a different white angle. They get big. Yeah. Too big. I yeah. I mean, if we're thinking long term. Ah, there's some rummies here, not a lot. Found the bentosis, but look at these guys. I mean, look, just look oh, at the males yeah. displaying to each other already. Yeah, definitely going to get these. I think these would be special because this is not a fish that you see. Um, okay, I've got, I've got my selection. What fish, fish are these? These are blueberry tetras, known as well, they're Hyphosabrican wadi, okay. known as blueberry tetra. I'm proud to say they were described by student of my old professor. They come from the Tapajos Basin, uh, which is the same area as your lemon tetras come from. Oh, wow. And they inhabit sort of clear water streams over light pale sand base, cool. hanging out in the mid water, picking up little items in the, in the water column, picking up detritus and small bits of algae, filamentous algae and so on. They color up something lovely, give them a decent quality food, give them that lovely planted tank to live in. And the bluish purple colors on them will really complement the limnophila in the tank. I think they'll be these are going to be your feature fish. I can't wait, mate. Thanks for recommending them. No, that's, that's a pleasure. And they've got the lemon tetras in here. Yeah, these are what we call the Bolivian orange lemons. Um, and the red on the eye is just gorgeous. Again, they colour up something lovely. Uh, b -b 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 Next one. Here. So here we are. So these are special. We're getting 10 of these. Yeah. And what's cool about these, Ty? Um, as you can see, they're all busy displaying. The males are always showing off to each other, even in the shop tank. These guys will hang out at lower levels. 
Uh, they provide constant engagement, color, movement, activity. They're kind of always on display, uh, which is why we need some other fish that are perhaps a little more subtle or aren't always displaying as much. But these ones will also combine with the sort of pink and purplish shades in that tank. They color up well. They're pretty hardy. And yeah, as you can see, they're really pretty attractive fish and they're out and about and they're not skulking and they're displaying and that's all you want from a, a nice And to, for them to be doing that in a shop tank as well yeah, is yeah. really good, good going. We got, well I chose some of these for the display over at Dave's at Aquarium Gardens because yeah. I said, suggested they would be really good in that tank and yeah. um, they're colouring up something yeah, they're amazing. wonderful over there yeah, yeah. so I'm looking forward to seeing them in yours. We'll see them later. Well, thanks Nick, cheers mate. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good there. Yeah. Awesome. Nice, 50 cent discount. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Acclimatise the fish. Can we float them? Mix in the aquarium water with the current water that's in the bags. I'm also going to do a water change and turn the CO2 off in the aquarium. So that, um, that background level of CO2 is not going to potentially uh, cause any distress of the fish. So we've got 30 high peso broken wadi. 10 hypersobricon and hosey, is that right? And six hypersobricon. Pulcrepinus. Pulcrepinus, that's the one. Uh, so all hypersobricon. I am naming this Aquascape Hypersobricon Heaven just because I am so creative. We've even, I've even left a voice note to a professor that lectured his student actually discovered um, the Hyphesor broken wadi, which the common name is blueberry tetra, and it's very rarely seen here in the UK. It's not very often seen in aquascaping. So that was really cool to know that the one of the fish that was discovered uh, by Ty's old professor's student. So there's a link actually a tenuous link, you could say, but it's still a link, and I'm taking it. So, I'm really happy with the fish in action. Thank you, Ty. The colours really work with the, the planting. That was the, the main focus, was that you made the linear filler in there with these purples, pinks, and reds. So we needed fish that really complemented that, but didn't overshadow the plants too much. And I think the fish choice is perfect, actually. You've got the wadi tetras. They'll colour up a bit more deeply than this, sort of purple, bluish colour to the body. Really nice sheen. You've got the white, uh, white fin bentoses. These guys will hang out more at lower levels. This pinkish, reddish body color. Then we've got the Libyan orange lemon tetras to complement the other lemons. Uh, they have just a slightly more orange color to the body. And I think, yeah, it's a really nice mix. Three species, plenty of fish, lots of movement, color. There's some character in there. The lemons are quite feisty and uh, I think it was a good choice. So thank you very much to, to Nick at Maidenhead Aquatics where we got these fish. Yeah, shout out to Maidenhead Aquatics from Huntington. For helping us. For uh, giving us the cheeky discount. And uh, hello. And Nick being very nice and climbing up and catching all these fish for us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really pleased. Are you happy with it, George? Really happy with it. Good. I can't really see him at the moment because he's covered in, in the morning, dogs. You know? So yeah, my, my professor, Fernando, the first time I saw these, I, I messaged him. I was like, oh, Fernando, do you know the Thai Festival Break and Wadai? He's like, yeah, my student described them. So I was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> he's the Thai Festival Break and guy. And, uh, so every time I encounter Tetra, I'm not sure about it. I talk to him. Yeah, beautiful, mate. And it's just added so much extra movement to the mm -hmm. tank. I just had the six lemons in there to start with. Been debating for months about what to get in there and now it's really great to get the get the final fish in there. So thank you, Ty. Oh, thanks. thanks for trusting me on the choice. What's friendship for, man, if you can't trust each other? On that note, cheerio. Keep on scaping. Cut. <laughs> okay, it's been a few days since the fish were added and I'm really happy to say they've coloured up. They look absolutely beautiful. All Hypesobricon species, which is really interesting, all, uh, all tetras, all suit this aquascape perfectly, I think. We've got the bentosies with their really fun activity levels, the way they interact with each other, their beautiful high white tipped fin. And then we've got this magnificent shoal 
of the blueberry tetras here, 30 of them. And I just love the way they go up and down the tank, that sort of beautiful schooling pattern, even though they're not threatened, they're not feeling predated, they're still keeping that kind of tight schooling, which is quite rare in tetras. You know, most of them, once they feel comfortable and realise there's no predators around, they tend to kind of swim a bit more randomly. We see this in particular with cardinal tetras, uh, neon tetras. Rummy nose tetras tend to school better, and that was, if you remember, one of my original shortlist choices for this scape, but really happy to have decided to go with Ty's suggestion of the beautiful blueberry tetras. We've also got another uh, load of lemon tetras, the orange type in there as well. They just add another little bit of interest, an interesting colour. Again, high fessor icon. So they all have this similar aspect ratio of body shape, you know, similar height to length uh, ratio. But I'm just absolutely in love with this aquascape and this aquarium. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Good fish choice. What do you think to the blueberry tetras? What a magnificent fish. I think this could be one of the next big hits in aquascaping. Let me know what you think. Take care, keep on scaping. So here we go.